Do you guys want a cop lock flyer before you go? And a oh, sticker? Oh yeah. Awesome. Thank you. I don't know if you release a sticker, so I'll give you a flyer though. Oh, okay. Unless you want me to put it on your car, film the police. <laughs> no. All right, I get to help out. The following video is brought to you by the Cop Block Network. Together, we can further the police accountability message. Visit copblock.org slash network for more details. Hello everybody, it's Adamo Freeman with copblock.org. Recently, myself and many others were at the first ceremony at the First Church of Cannabis in Indianapolis. I took advantage of the opportunity of having a large amount of cops in one area to do a little bit of cop outreach. Here are a few clips from that day. Enjoy. How's it going, guys? Want a card? Coplock.org? No, thanks, thanks man. You're all good. You guys Appreciate know the website? Yes. Awesome. What do you think? You want to give it a plug? I'll shoot it for you. No, we're good. Visit Coplock.org. Have you been to the Welcome Leos page? No? What do you guys think about hanging out here today? Overtime? What we're told to do, we do it. Right? But what if it was like, hey, guard this house that has blankets? Would you refuse to do that? I'm told to do it, I do it. No matter what? I follow my orders. All right. Even no matter what? Like, even if you're doing it at home, you'd still do it and arrest people? I'm just curious. I ask officers this all the time. Okay. But you would? Whatever the order is? How about you, Montgomery? Whatever they tell me to do, boss. Whatever? Oh, man. All right. Well, you guys should check out Welcome Leo's at the cop lock site. Yeah. You think it's cop hating stuff? Yeah. Ah, oh, come on, it doesn't hate cops. You haven't visited the website. If you no, think that. I haven't. Right. <laughs> well, you got to check it out. And if you, and, you know, read the regular stuff, but go to the Welcome Leo's page, All right. which is you know a bunch of information on like alternative things you guys could do to provide your service without having to work for the government. All right. Okay. As well as some other things. Who would pay us? Who would pay us? Well, the people who pay you now only directly instead of indirectly. Like taxpayers, people pay you now. But instead, like, if, I don't know what your skill set is. Maybe you're really good at recovering stolen cars, and maybe you're really good at home protection. But I'd probably hire you both, because I have both. And okay. so that would be how we'd get paid. Uh, or excuse me, you would get paid. But uh, I think it would uh, lessen the stresses of your job and give us a better uh, service. So to me, it's like a win-win situation. You guys can make way more money, not have to work with shit bags that give you guys a bad name, and I wouldn't have to deal with it. Paying for ship bags or give you guys a bad name. Is this like your website? Not. I did start it in 2010, okay. but now there's over 250 groups, that uh, cop block offshoots we call throughout the country, yeah. even the world actually. And uh, they kind of like, I don't believe I have all the answers. I know I don't. <laughs> I just know the services I would like to provide and pay for. Okay. And at cop block though, that's me speaking. At cop block though, it's just a place <laughs> to house the conversation, whether it's from your side or our side, on whether or not uh, uh, or how people feel about the service of policing or issues that are arising with it today. All right. All right. Thank you. No problem. Appreciate it, guys. Uh -huh, appreciate sure. it. Yep. Man, you want to... Sure. Here you go, Top Lock.org. How you doing, guys? Hey, you You guys want some business cards? Top Lock.org. Sure. Please sure. kind of ability website. Thank you. Right. Have you guys visited it yet? No. Oh, no. Oh, come on. Good. Thank you. Sure? I don't believe in the internet. Oh, you don't believe in the internet? <laughs> <laughs> I'm with the internet. Well, some bad things. Yeah. <laughs> well, like, right what do you mean? There's like bad things on the internet? Well, the, the internet's full of a lot of things. It's used for bad things. I don't know, there's a lot, I mean, some bicycles are misused for bad things, but you guys are using them today. So, just gotta be good. responsible adult. Yeah, we have a, even a Welcome Wheels page, you know, so you guys can go there, find out uh, more information about, you know, victimless crimes or sure. other alternatives as opposed to working for the government. Well, I'll take a look and see what you do. That'd be pretty awesome. Awesome. So what are we doing today? Just riding around, chilling? Patrolling. Sweating a little bit. <laughs> High crime area here? Should I, am I wearing the right colors? You're fine. I'm what? fine? I don't know. That's what I'm wondering. I mean, a big police presence. I thought maybe there was some violent activity around here. Hanging out. So, like, people were uh, deciding what they want to put in their own bodies. We're not going to do anything about that today. Have any, has any of you ever smoked weed before? Anybody? You have? Oh, you weren't nodding with yes or just. Yeah. Never? Have you? Have you ever tried weed? Hey, White, did you ever try weed? Oh, he did, because he's running away. <laughs> he doesn't want to be honest. My cousin's an architect, and he smoked the hell out of some weed back right? in the day, I'm telling you. Right. Makes him a better than Arthur, yes. I, I guess. Yeah. Makes him a hypocrite in my book, right? right? He, lit a, he lit a girl's hair on fire one time, he was so high, he was sitting there blazing. So another question I was asking all the officers is like, if there's two laws, that one says you shouldn't do something, and one says you can do something, like, what happens? You know, like legislation. Or a PIO officers down there if you want to talk to them. Well, I did talk to them, but I wanted to talk because like every person has their own thoughts. Okay. You can want me to talk to them if you want to, all right? You don't want me talking to you anymore? Can I talk to you three? 
you can talk to those two. Two, you're out too? Who else is bouncing? Everyone's done? All right. Well, check out the website. You didn't get a car. You sure you don't want it? Right. Do you remember it? All right. Go home and visit. Be yeah. safe, guys. Was that cop trolling or cop outreach? I don't know. I guess it depended on the cop. If they weren't very open, I probably trolled them a little more. And if they took the card or had a conversation, like the three officers on the motorcycle, uh, who engaged me for a certain amount of time, but towards the end you could tell that they were uh, done thinking logically, at least for the time being. So, you know, it goes either way. But again, you know, cop blocking is trying to keep the police from creating harms or aggressions against other people, uh, as well as accountability. But there are many more things that you can do while cop blocking. And outreach to cops is one of them, even if in the form of trolling. So, hope you enjoyed. Till next time. Subscribe, like the video, and remember, badges don't grant extra rights. Peace.